Welcome back to Military Matches HQ. Today we take a closer look at one of the most iconic British aircraft of the modern era which is the Bay Hawk jet. Sleek and agile and instantly recognizable the Hawk has earned a reputation around the world as a reliable trainer and a capable light combat aircraft. For more than four decades it has been at the heart of fast jet training for the Royal Air Force while also making its mark across international air forces from Asia to the Middle East. The Hawk first flew in 1974. It was designed by Hawker Siddeley which later became part of British Aerospace and is now Bay Systems. The goal was simple but ambitious. Create a jet that could prepare pilots for the high-performance demands of frontline fighters such as the Harrier the Tornado and later the Typhoon. From the very beginning the Hawk stood out for its balance of performance safety and cost-effectiveness. Its ability to replicate the feel of flying a true supersonic fighter without the same expense made it the perfect stepping stone for future combat pilots. At the heart of the Hawk's success is its Rolls-Royce Adore turbofan engine. This powerplant provides smooth and reliable thrust which gives the aircraft an excellent thrust-to-weight ratio and makes it capable of reaching speeds in excess of Mach 0.8. While it is not a supersonic jet it was never intended to be. Instead it provides exactly the right level of performance to challenge trainee pilots without overwhelming them. It bridges the gap between propeller trainers and advanced fighters. Another key strength of the Hawk is its handling. The design makes it extremely forgiving yet still capable of aerobatic maneuvers that demand precision and skill. This blend of stability and agility has made it a favorite with instructors and with display teams. In fact the Hawk is perhaps best known to the public as the aircraft of the RAF Red Arrows which is one of the most famous aerobatic display teams in the world. Since 1979 the Red Arrows have flown Hawks and the displays show the aircraft's incredible maneuverability to millions of people around the world. The Hawk is far more than just a training aircraft. Over the years it has been adapted into light combat and ground attack roles. Variants such as the Hawk 200 are capable of carrying a wide range of weapons which include air-to-air -air missiles, rockets and precision-guided bombs. This flexibility has made it appealing to countries seeking an affordable and effective multi-role aircraft. Nations such as India, Saudi Arabia, Finland and Indonesia have all operated the Hawk which makes it one of Britain's most successful military exports. More than 1,000 Hawks have been built and they serve in over 18 air forces worldwide. Inside the cockpit the Hawk has continued to evolve with modern technology. Early versions used analog instruments but today's advanced models are equipped with digital glass cockpits head-up displays and even simulated radar systems. These upgrades allow trainee pilots to experience the systems and workflows of modern frontline jets which ensures they are fully prepared before moving on to fighters like the Eurofighter Typhoon or the F-35 Lightning II. The Hawk's durability is another of its defining qualities. Many aircraft that were designed in the 1970s have retired but the Hawk remains in active service. Its strong design combined with regular upgrades has kept it relevant in an era of rapid technological change. The RAF continues to use the Hawk T2 at its training bases which proves that even after decades this British jet still plays a vital role in shaping the future of military aviation. From the training grounds of the RAF to the thrilling displays of the Red Arrows and from export success to combat-ready variants the Bay Hawk jet represents the very best of British aerospace engineering. It is not just a trainer. It is a symbol of excellence resilience and international collaboration. Thank you for watching Military Matches HQ. If you enjoyed this look at the Bay Hawk jet make sure you like share and subscribe for more deep dives into the world of military history and technology.